Dynach's algorithm or Dynach's algorithm is a strongly polynomial algorithm for computing the maximum flow in a flow network. Conceived in 1970 by Israeli computer scientist Yefem A. Dynach's, the algorithm runs in time and is similar to the edmonds karp algorithm, which runs in time, in that it uses shortest augmenting paths. The introduction of the concepts of the level graph and blocking flow enabled Dynach's algorithm to achieve its performance. History Yefim Dynitz invented this algorithm in response to a pre-class exercise in Adels and Volsky's algorithm class. At the time he was not aware of the basic facts regarding ford and algorithm. Dynitz mentions inventing his algorithm in January 1969, which was published in 1970 in journal Doclady Academy NAUKSSSR. In 1974, Shimon Even and Alon ITAI at the Technion in Haifa were very curious and intrigued by the Dynitz's algorithm as well as Alexander Kazanov's idea of blocking flow. However, it was hard to decipher these two papers for them, each being limited to four pages to meet the restrictions of journal Doclady Academy NAUKSSSR. However, even did not give up and after three days of effort managed to understand both papers except for the layered network maintenance issue. Over the next couple of years, even gave lectures on Dynach's algorithm, mispronouncing the name of the author while popularizing it. Even an ITAI also contributed to this algorithm by combining BFS and DFS which is the current version of algorithm for about 10 years of time after ford Fulkerson algorithm was invented. It was unknown if it can be made to terminate in polynomial time in the generic case of irrational edge capacities. This caused lack of any known polynomial time algorithm that solved max flow problem in generic case. Dynitz algorithm and the edmonds karp algorithm, which was published in 1972, independently showed that in the ford fulkerson algorithm, if each augmenting path is the shortest one, the length of the augmenting paths is non-decreasing and it always terminated. Definition Let be a network within the capacity and the flow of the edge respectively. The residual capacity is a mapping defined as, if, otherwise, the residual graph is the graph where an augmenting path is an path in the residual graph, defined to be the length of the shortest path from to in. Then the level graph of is the graph where a blocking flow is in flow such that the graph with contains no path. Algorithm. Dynex algorithm input. A network. Output. And flow of maximum value. Set for each. Construct from of. If. Stop an output. Find a blocking flow in, augment flow by and go back to step 2. Analysis. It can be shown that the number of edges in each blocking flow increases by at least one each time and thus there are most blocking flows in the algorithm, whereas the number of vertices in the network. The level graph can be constructed by breadth first search in time and a blocking flow in each level graph can be found in time. Hence, the running time of Dynach's algorithm is, using a data structure called dynamic trees, the running time of finding a blocking flow in each phase can be reduced to and therefore the running time of Dynach's algorithm can be improved to. Special cases in networks with unit capacities, a much stronger time bound holds. Each blocking flow can be found in time, and it can be shown that the number of phases does not exceed and thus the algorithm runs in time. In networks arising during the solution of bipartite matching problem, the number of phases is bounded by, therefore leading to the time bound. The resulting algorithm is also known as hopcroft karp algorithm. More generally, this bound holds for any unit network, a network in which each vertex, except for source and sink, either has a single entering edge of capacity 1, or a single outgoing edge of capacity 1, and all other capacities are arbitrary integers. Example. The following is a simulation of Dynach's algorithm. In the level graph, the vertices with labels in red are the values. The paths in blue form a blocking flow. 